Minecraft 1.21 has a lot of new features and in today's video I'll be showing you everything new in this update. Heading into the savannah we have the mob boat winner the armadillo. Doing? This friendly guy also spawns in the badlands. It can also be bred with spider eyes if you want a whole army of them. Armadillos will curl up into their shells if they are startled. They don't drop anything when killed but other than that armadillos also drop armadillo skew when a brush is used on them. With the skew, you can make wolf armor that is also dyeable to make them colorful. This wolf armor is very strong and the armor can also be repaired. Finally, our wolves are useful in battle. Speaking about wolves, there are 9 new wolf variations that can be found in different biomes across the overworld. In the swamp, we also have a new mob called the Bogged. This hostile mob is a new skeleton variant that spawns in both swamp biomes. It shoots poisonous arrows that do a lot of damage but it has less health than a regular skeleton. The bog also spawns in a special underground structure called the trial chamber. The chamber has a lot of rooms with treasures and breakable pots. To find this large structure easily, you have to trade with a cartographer villager at the journeyman level to get the trial chamber map. There are also a lot of dangers in the chamber such as a new mob called the breeze, a cousin of the blaze. The breeze attacks using wind to shoot you into the air causing fall damage. It is also immune to projectile weapons such as bows and tridents. The breeze's wind gusts can also activate redstone and buttons. Which might be pretty unique to some redstone people. You kill the breeze, the breeze drops breeze rods which is used to craft wind charges. These wind charges give you the ability of the breeze to do great knockback and jump higher. But that's not it. There are also trial spawners found in the chamber. These new spawners spawn groups of mobs where you can train your fighting skills. The difficulty of the spawner is increased when there are more players in the server. Trial spawners can also be activated again after a while. When all the mobs are killed, the spawner spits out loot. It also has a rare chance to drop a trial key. This new key is used on vaults found in the chamber. The vaults will spit out rare loot and have a chance to drop two new armor trims exclusive to the trial chamber. Trial spawners and vaults are both unbreakable and cannot be obtained in survival. There is also a very small chance for the vault to drop a heavy core. The heavy core is a new block but is also used to craft the mace along with one breeze rod. This new weapon does area damage and great knockback. The mace doesn't do much damage, instead does more damage depending on how high up you are. If you manage to hit the mob, the mace will cancel your fall damage. If you build up a hundred blocks high, you can even one shot the warden. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. This is why the mace is very OP. The mace also comes with three new enchantments. The breach enchantment which pierces armor. The Density Enchantment, which increases the mace's damage. And the Wind Burst Enchantment, which gives your mace the effect of the wind charge. This next feature will excite all the redstone people. It is called the Crafter. Wow. This new block can craft anything in Minecraft automatically. Allowing you to make some cool automatic farms. This block can also be crafted using 5 iron, 2 redstone, 1 dispenser, and a crafting table. We also have a new light source called the copper bulb. This new block is crafted with 3 copper blocks, 1 redstone dust, and 1 blaze rod. The copper bulb also has a unique feature. The light level of the bulb changes depending on its oxidation stage. If the bulb is at its first oxidation stage, it will be brighter than its last stage. There are also a bunch of new copper blocks, such as copper trapdoors, copper doors, copper grates, and chisel copper blocks. All of these new copper blocks can be waxed with honey and unwaxed with an axe. Tuff has also got new blocks, such as new walls, slabs, stairs, 
bricks, polish tuff, and chisel tuff. I also have new potions like the ominous bottle, which is dropped by pillager captains. Using this potion won't just give you bad omen, but it is also used to activate an ominous spawner. This spawner spawns harder mobs but has better loot. It also has a chance to drop the ominous key, which is used on ominous vaults that give better loot. Mobs will also spawn with these potion effects. A mob with the infestation effect will spawn silverfish when killed. Other effects like the oozing that spawns slimes, weaving that spawns cobwebs, and wind charge that spawns a wind charge. We also have new pottery shirts found in the trial chamber which is used to design decorative pots. For my fellow Bedrock players, we have some new Java parodies, such as Spectator Mode, which allows you to fly through walls. To go into this mode, you have to type slash Game Mode Spectator in the chat, while cheats are on. That's it for this update guys, see you guys next time.